morning, dear hearts. Um, lesson 274, and as always, please subscribe. Today's lesson says, today belongs to love, and that's capitalized, let me not fear. So right off the bat, we can remember the introduction to A Course in Miracles, telling us that the opposite of love is fear, but what is all encompassing can have no opposite. So there is no fear. So why would I go into the imaginary, the illusion? So let today and every day belong to love. This is also reminiscent of the lesson 268 we just had of let all things be exactly as they are. And when I allow all things to be exactly as they are, as they were created in truth, with a big T, I am allowing everything to be love because love is the creative force of this universe. So the lesson starts with the prayer that says, Father, today I would let all things be as you created them, hint, hint, 268, and give your son the honor due his sinlessness, the love of brother to his brother and his friend. If I am not loving, have loving thoughts towards my brother, then I am in fear. That would be the, the opposite of what love is. Let me not fear. Let me not hold a grudge or a grievance, an anger, a judgment against my brother because the only one it harms ultimately is me. So I would honor and the sinlessness that he is due, the honor that he is due because he is sinless. And through this, I am redeemed. And through this as well, the truth will enter where illusions were. Light will replace all darkness and your son will know he is as you created him. Again, that thread, that lesson that we all must come to know that we are as God created us. I am God's holy child. When we have that awareness that to know he is, to know I am as you created me, then today definitely will belong to love and there will be no fear because there was no fear in creation. Creation happened from the extension of the mind of God outward and let the light of his mind shine on all things, okay? And that is where, you know, the, the light will replace all darkness. The light of creation will replace all darkness from my illusory mind. The lesson continues with a special blessing comes to us today from him who is our father. Give this day to him and there will be no fear today because the day is given unto love. Love and fear never have, never will, never can coexist. There is always one or the other. Which will I choose today? Today belongs to love. Today I choose love and allow the fear the sharp-edged toys, because that's what fear is, to be put down, put away, and not for me to reach for them. There is no reason to go into fear when there is the awareness of love. And just to go back to what is the Christ, in the last paragraph, it reads, and how long will this holy face be seen, this face of love, this face of Christ, when it is but the symbol that the time for learning now is over and the goal of atonement has been reached at last. When I go into and place every day into a day of love, atonement has been reached at last, at one mint, at last. So therefore, let us seek to find Christ's face and look on nothing else. It's a day of love. As we behold his glory, we will know 
we have no need of learning or perception or of time or anything except the Holy Self, the Christ, whom God created as his son, and that I am as you created me. So that's it for today. I hope this helped. I hope you're having a day of love today and every day. Please like, please share, please subscribe, <laughs> please subscribe. Um, please comment. Please, please be here tomorrow for a, uh, another uplifting lesson. Namaste.